welcome back to our October build challenge. This is our final lot meant to be released on Halloween. Things didn't happen. We're cool with it. <laughs> so this is a bit ambitious for me. It's a fighter pit essentially. And what it's meant to be is where anyone of any station can go and they can participate in tournaments. Kind of like jousting, but fighting. <laughs> just go with it. Just go with it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be cool. First thing I want to build are stands. So this is also a spectator -y type of thing. gonna work with this. My gladiator dreams will survive. Oops. So what we'll do instead, since I can't do the steps of my dreams, very crushed about this, is we'll down those. And we'll just have these. And then we'll have upper level. Up here. Exactly. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll be fine. Be fine! I honestly don't have a ton of, like, solid ideas for this one. Obviously, I'm inspired a little bit by gladiators, but this is different. This is definitely not, like, anybody can participate. There's just monetary prizes. There's no life or death. It's just kind of good, clean fun. I didn't want it to be something, like, icky. I just wanted this to be a thing that just another way that Art Blumenthal unifies through a sort of equality. Like, there's still a class system within Adherin, but he was an indentured servant before the war. So he is very conscious of what people who are kind of stomped on can do. And the Kenton family really didn't even stomp on people, they just enforced the class system that was already in place. So in a lot of ways, art does push back against that system to make sure that people don't get mad at him for the oppression and, like, hold him responsible or something. I don't know. Point is, he does not want there to be another coup. Or war, or anything of that nature. He wants everything to be chill. Best way to have that be chill is to not dismantle the system that's there, but to have plenty of ways that people see each other as equals. One of the ways he does that is through the apprentice system that everybody gets to go through. No exceptions. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. And the fighting pits are another way. Because anybody can participate. Anybody can earn money. And it doesn't matter who you are, like, there's no consequences. It's meant to be fun, it's meant to be something that everybody can participate in freely. Are there hurt feelings? I'm sure, because this isn't a perfect society, but... For the most part, I think Art does have the right idea, or his heart's in the right place. I know... Like... How he was before 
the war, he would have abolished like all of it, just totally destroyed the whole system, pulled it down. But I think during the war, he realized the system exists kind of for a reason. And even if it's not great, without it, there's a lot of chaos. So he does his best to work within the confines of what people are familiar with. You guys are getting a weird, weird history lesson today. I'm, well, not even history lesson. You're getting a weird lesson on the deer. And I actually will. Mm. And the reason why I always stress all of this, like, about Arndt, like, he's not a perfect leader by any stretch of the imagination. Like, I don't think it's really possible. But he really does try, and I think he makes key decisions that have been pretty smart honestly like he married Bernique Blumen or Bernique Barrett who's not Bernique Blumenthal and she has Kenton ties so in a way other countries see him as more legitimate not because of him but because of his wife and he's not one of the he's not a I mean it's like Henry the seventh he wanted to be seen as a legitimate ruler without his wife well Art does not care he's like whatever yeah my wife's part of this line. If that's what it takes for you to be cool with me, cool. My wife's part of this line. Oh, that shadow is hateful. We're gonna leave it though. So yeah, art is an interesting sim. Because like on the one hand, he's he can be very rule with an iron fist. Like um, he absolutely can. But he doesn't really reach the point where it's like people are like, we need to do something about this guy. He's kind of a problem. Oh, heck a doodle. Columns in the army, my friend. So yeah, I really do like having Arndt as a character. I've said it a few times now, I think, but I don't intend for Adirin to ever be like re-recording gameplay, just because I don't think I would enjoy it very much, just being totally honest. That's something that I prefer to storytell with. That's just my preference. But I do like Adirin and I do enjoy talking about it, so that's not going to stop just because I just because I'm not sharing it like as a playthrough like I do with my Henry the Eighth or my Barbie challenge doesn't mean it's not. It's just different. It's it's different, it's special. I'm way too attached to it. It's evidenced by the fact that I've been playing it on and off for five years now. You know. Cash, like you do. All right, back to the fighting pits. So, fighting pits like this, I think. It's like stone bottom. I want there to be oh, multiple areas where people can fight. I think four? Because jousting is not really a thing. I mean, I know I've got jousting CC, but jousting is not really a thing. So nine by sevens. are going to be gongs, which 
which are kind of essential. We're gonna have a community lot, sorry, but. Back to life. I'm gonna put some barbecues to stuff too, just because I feel like they should be able to eat. Alright. As far as gates are concerned. I don't think it's too big, but that actually doesn't look terrible. I really want to use these, we don't understand. Oh. What? I? That would look really weird though, wouldn't it? I think if I did it. How weird is ah? Oh, it looks weird. Too weird. Oh. Goodbye, great dream. Size. Too bad, so sad. And I guess I could like give myself a consolation prize, but who wants that? No one. Alright, so one of the things we're gonna put, and obviously this isn't like truly, they can't really fight, but I can pretend that they can. log roller, they don't need to go like they just need access to the sides, right? We're gonna make this a little bit bigger. We'll make Roller is one of the things that I pictured here. Yes, okay. I'll re add the gates in a second. Alright, well. the idea of making them play a little sand table game like pool. I don't 
know how this works, but we'll see. See, I do have jousty things, but that's not what we're here for. I know there's their quote unquote fighter pits, but that, that's a loose definition. Mostly it's a place for feats of strength. Where's my knife thrower? There it is. Sorry for the radio silence here. I am focused. Okay, so... This is definitely evolving from what I originally intended, but that's okay. Evolution is cool. It's becoming kind of a offensive strength thing, which I'm fine with. Like this, whoever lasts the longest whack in the dummy, whoever throws the most knives, whoever hits the target the best. I like that. There was actually room for putting the hay stack thing so that they could jump, but there's really not anywhere reasonable to put that. Okay. So. Actually, I want this to be... Gonna be fancy. The idea is Arndt built this on purpose as like you know, his way to once again kind of even things up between the peasantry and the nobility and everybody else. It's all about equality, our boy Arndt, even if he is a king. A little sketch that he did that, but he did really want me. But okay. This one's gonna be all the way close. Some of them I'm not filling all the way because reasonably they wouldn't have been walking over there. Like here. There's going to be water everywhere, so it's going to be muddy and wet. And here are the edges probably aren't getting hit. Same with this one, but this one, well, axes are going everywhere. Really long video. 
want it to be perfect. Chairs have to be something that's going to be able to withstand weather. But also is comfortable. I need to do some finishing touches and things like that, but for the most part, here are our fighting pits. This is the conclusion of my Halloween build challenge. I will definitely be going back to all of these lots and decorating them, so don't worry. Uh, I know I'll be getting back to my bread and butter, so to speak. But thank you guys so much for coming on this little building journey for me. For me, with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you've had a lot of fun, because I know that I have, and I done some things I haven't done before, which is always a plus. Yeah, if you have comments, suggestions, thoughts, and things that I can build, definitely let me know down below, and I will see you in the next one.